Now keep an eye on this fountain. Notice the bird that is there and notice the one that comes in because we're gonna talk about this pretty soon too because this is important if you're putting out water fountains for hummingbirds. Hi, this is Robbie from Southern California. Yes, the one that feeds thousands of hummingbirds. But my big thing also is making solar fountains and you know having water out for the birds so they can bathe and take a drink. Now, we'll do another video on the bubbler I created here because that's not what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna to talk about setting up fountains and what makes the birds come in. Basically, if they're comfortable, they will come in. Now keep in mind, it does take time for a hummingbird to come into a fountain many times. I'm dealing with maybe hundreds to thousands of birds at different times of the year. Yes, the numbers are more, so there's always gonna be somebody out there that is gonna explore and look around to see what I put out because I've got dozens of feeders all over. Now this fountain is a real simple one. You can go look it up, how to make it. I've got the full video. It's actually gone into the millions. It's nothing more than a trash can, number five, that is safe, from the dollar store, Dollar Tree, with a plastic plate and a soda bottle. And then I made that little bubbler recently because it's another video I'm gonna put out. Now he is sitting up there, he or she, taking a bath. Now this bird is really enjoying itself. Look at its surroundings right now. What is there? What do you see besides the beautiful view behind it? You see a plant to the left in a pot? Don't worry about the light bulb. That's a solar light from a dollar store. It doesn't even work anymore. It's years old. It looks pretty. But see the plant there? It's just still in the original pot from the nursery. It's kind of giving the bird maybe a little camouflage from all the way around for somebody to see them. But it's also giving them a little bit of security a sense of security so he could dart into that simple little plant if he wanted to, but it creates a nice ambiance, let's say. It, it, it's very natural. They would come down to a pond or water somewhere that has coverage, plant coverage. So when they come by, they see that. And plus, they'll check out the flowers. And when they're checking out the flowers for nectar or pollen or insects, they see the fountain, even though they hear it, and they think this is a safe place. And watch as he's gonna take off. Okay, he's gone. Now here comes another one, directly to the same fountain. You saw how he came in, you can compare the notes, it's not the same bird. He's almost gonna leave, maybe he heard something, but he came back. And yes, don't worry, we will get into how to make these bubblers because they happen to love it. It keeps the water flowing smoothly for him and it gives him a place to perch. But the main thing I'm trying to point out here is if you put a fountain just straight out onto a deck or in your yard and there's no coverage around it, that's kind of abnormal and you want the bird to feel secure. You could just go to any nursery and pick up something in a flower pot that you like that grows in your area and just sit it next to your fountains you're making, making or next to your even your bird feeders you've got. It looks pretty for you and it works really good for the birds too. So it's kind of a win-win situation. Now notice to the right, my beautiful cup that I absolutely love that so many people have made. And I made a makeover on the bowl because the clear plastic turned yellow. So we painted it, there's a video on that. But I've got a video on how I make that cup. Just a drinking cup with a straw and the solar fountain attached to it. Now, while we've been watching, the two hummingbirds that have come in have gone to the one to the left. They saw both of them, but that was the first one it chose to the left, the bottle. It really doesn't have anything to do with the structure of the fountain. It's position, it's the camouflage, it's the plant, it's something in there made the bird feel comfortable enough to stop and take a good bath. Remember, hummingbirds get sticky. They get nectar on them, not just from hummingbird feeders, from flowers. Look at the honeybees that are covered in pollen and nectar. Well, especially pollen. Well, they get covered and they have to stay clean or they won't be able to fly good. And it takes from their energy when they're dirty. That's why they bathe all the time. And that's why fountains are so important to hummingbirds. And they have to get used to the fountains. They have to know it looks safe and they have to feel safe before they'll use them. But I was kind of wondering about that. Was it maybe they liked the new bubbler? Was that what it was? They were coming in 
flying about and landing on the bubbler. But there's that beautiful potted plant from the nursery. Never got planted, though I'll probably put it in a larger pot. Beautiful pink flowers. And that's the one the hummingbirds have chosen. See, you've got to look at your fountains if the birds aren't coming in. And you do want your house finches and sparrows and different birds to come to it because hummingbirds watch to see who's coming to take a drink. And yes, I have house finches come to this to drink too. I even have doves and different birds, all kinds of birds. That's very important because they are observing everything around them. And if it's safe for them, well, it would be safe for the hummingbirds too. So they are very keen birds when it comes to wisdom, I would say. But I wanted to change things up. So I went out there and decided I'm going to move the plant, just the plant. Let's move it over because I know they love the cup. They're always coming to the cup. And then I waited and I checked my security cameras again and I kind of had to reposition everything, but watch, let's take a look. Let's watch carefully, you and me, because this was very interesting. That's not to say they won't use the one to the left, but look, he comes in. <gasps> He's going down. No, wait, wait, something's missing. The plant's on the other side. Is he going to land or is he going to go back to the bubbler that he likes? Let's wait and see what happens. Look at that. He has now chosen the cup. It's not the bubbler that made him come in. You know what made this hummingbird come in? Plant. That sense of security, it just very natural. There's a plant there and it's kind of given him that little feeling of security and privacy a little bit. See, sometimes it's not the fountain you created for the birds. It's where you positioned it. If it's out in the open, nothing's around, you may want to add a little bit of flowers or something there. Now that is not to say that no bird is not gonna go to the left. So I went back and checked my security cameras. And what did I see? Let's wait and see. Here he comes in. He looked at the cup, but no, this one likes the bubbler, even though the plant's been moved. So it's not 100%, but what I wanted to point out here is plants do help. Notice to the right, I do have other plants. I've got a geranium and in a food container that I painted. I've got a firecracker plant there, also still in the pot. Now I've got the flowers there. So maybe put a few plants out. You don't wanna plant something, just leave it in the pot it was in. Put it in a container, make it look pretty for you and the birds and maybe the hummingbirds will start to come in and do entice other birds to use it too because that is what brings in the hummingbirds, all your other birds. So here's that little house finch, just took a drink, but look at this. This hummingbird was waiting off on the side to see if it was safe and now he has come in and decided this is a safe place to go. So encourage your other birds to come in and soon your hummingbirds will enjoy your fountains too. With that, have a wonderful day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Please like and subscribe and ask questions so I can make videos that may help you bring in all those birds. Bye-bye.